So today I'm going to talk about how I actually afford this lifestyle. I'm a graphic designer as well as a YouTuber. I can't really live off YouTube at the moment. It's uh, I'm still too small, but hopefully I'll keep growing because I do enjoy making these videos. This would be my dream job, really. <laughs> my experience as a graphic designer, I went to Auckland University of Technology and was there for four years. And then I worked at two companies in Auckland, a yarn company, a knitting company. That was my very first job. Um, and then I ended up working at y &R Advertising. So a bit of a contrast between the two. After two and a half years, I then moved to London and I was there for four years. Half the time I freelanced through agencies where they placed me in companies who needed a free, uh, graphic designer for a day, a week, three months, however long. And half the time I was at a small design agency in Covent Garden. Our main client was actually Legal in General. I know that's a big UK insurance brand. And I got the opportunity to, to design a part of a food court for the Belfast Airport. So after four years in London, I moved to Melbourne and I ended up working at a corporate company there for two years, which ended up being quite fun. The, it all depends on the company, if it's an enjoyable job or not, really. And there was a lot of freedom. I got to build the brand from basically nothing to something that kind of was on level with the arrivals. I have had the travel bug, so all through my travel experience, since leaving New Zealand at the start, I have traveled as much as I could. So I came back to New Zealand, freelanced for a year, traveled a little bit more, came back again, ended up working at Flight Center as a graphic designer there for nearly a year. And then I got restless again and came up with this idea. <laughs> I had a little bit of savings, so I just potted around the South Island exploring and attempted to start an online business that didn't really happen. Uh, I did learn a lot, so that was quite helpful. Um, but eventually I ran out of money, so I came, I went back to Auckland and freelanced again, trying to figure out if you could live in a caravan and live in a city at the same time. I did learn it's quite difficult if you don't have family or friends with land that you could keep the caravan on. I did find one campground on the North Shore in Northcote, which seemed like the best place to stay. So if I end up in Auckland again, that's where I will go. And I ended up there, I ended up freelancing, I think all of winter, last winter, I ended up basically there. And then I would do, save up a bit, do a road trip, explore a bit, come back to Auckland, freelance a little bit more, save a bit more, do another road trip. So that's kind of what I did all of last winter. And then I got offered a contract job, part-time contract job in Hawke's Bay. So it was around two to three days a week based in Hawke's Bay. So I came down and started working here. It was, it was cool. I found an, a loveless campground, like in the middle of an apple orchard. Like <laughs> this is, for a city girl, this has been the dream. It's been awesome staying here. So I started this job over six months ago now. I started this job last spring and yeah, I've ended up talking to the boss she was okay if I would do some road trips from here um, so work in the office maybe two-thirds of the time and then do a road trip a third of the time so that's why some of my um, videos are based at this campground <laughs> and so I'm in the office two to three days a week and then the rest of the time I work on this traveling K <laughs> it's my passion project so traveling K I've, be, I've had for over a year and a half now and to be honest, I've just been spending money on Traveling K and that's for the website hosting, that's for my camera gear, like I broke the um, my camera lens maybe four months ago. And then once a month I am paying for Adobe software so I can edit these videos. Um, I've bought microphones, I've bought lights, tripods, lots of little parts to be able to record well. Just now I feel like there is a little bit of a change. So 
for a long time I was just making five dollars a month through the YouTube ads, the, the annoying ads that pop up at the bottom of the videos. <laughs> YouTube gets 50% of that, I get 50% of that, and then as soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers, and there was also that change where it was harder to, where you needed the 1,000 subscribers to start earning, it took a jump, so then I was on $10 a month, and right now I'm sitting at $17 a month. Now I have heard this amount fluctuates all the time, no real rhyme or reason, so we'll see. I might end up taking a dip for a while, but hopefully not. Hopefully it just keeps growing. But the thing is, I haven't been able to touch this money until it reaches 130 New Zealand dollars, and I am about $3 off. I am so close to being able to get that money. And a few of you know that I've started Patreon as well. That's where you guys can donate a small monthly amount, like a dollar or my maximum is $20 a month. So, And as soon as you become my Patreon, you get access to more up-to-date information, behind the scenes stuff that I don't share on Facebook, a little bit more personal. Like I share a lot on this channel, so there's not a huge amount more of my share, but I share a little bit more personal up-to-date stuff on there. And like last week I shared the thumbnail for this, the, my last video coming out. And I also um, celebrate my small achievements, like when I had a little bit more of a jump on uh, my views. Just when I'm excited, I don't know. And just because I'm a solo female traveling around, I am cautious with sharing exactly where I am on um, YouTube because anyone can watch this video whereas I'm a little bit more open on Patreon just because it feels it's a more enclosed space and it feels safer yeah and I also show uh, share a few free graphics that I make I've been a little slack I've only shared one so far but I plan to share more in the future and then if you're on the second or top tier there will be a monthly um, Skype call where I can answer questions straight away. This is how many views I need to make one dollar on YouTube. So it's a very slow process and seriously a big thank you to all my patrons at the moment. I've had a big jump from last week's video and I've seriously been so excited every single time I've seen another patron. And then a huge thank you to my top tier patrons, Dennis Alan and Pauline seriously thank you so much and I have to thank one of my viewers and new patreons David he recently bought a caravan and is traveling around South Island at the moment he upgraded his camera and asked if I wanted his old one seriously this video is being filmed on his camera and it's like a newer model of my camera what I'm super excited about is I can have an external microphone clipped in so in the future I can um, film on windy days outside and not have the audio completely destroyed which is very exciting <laughs> and I'll leave a link below to his photography he does seriously amazing nightscape photography I've started designing some merchandise for kind of caravanning and kiwiana stuff I'm using a company called Red Bubble who I design something and upload it to a website and they have a range of t-shirts or um, homeware that you can have it printed on and they take your payment, print it on the item and post it to you. So I get a small percentage of that and then they get a larger percentage of that. I've also started designing some stickers and that's on the website here. What else? Oh. I've started uploading some photos on a royalty-free website that as a graphic designer I've used a lot in the past called Shutterstock, but I've only earned 25 whole cents so far, so I don't know how that's going to go. I'll keep uploading more photos and just, just see, just see. I think that's everything. To be honest, I had a serious freak out the last couple of nights. I haven't, my contract job here hasn't, I kind of need two full days a week to live on and if I have three days a week then I can save a little bit but for the last little while there's been the odd week that's just less than two days and I'm starting to dip into my savings and it's freaking me out <laughs> so, and I've had all these sudden caravan expenses 
So, so if you need a graphic designer, ideally maybe one day a week, maybe for a small to medium sized business that is happy having a graphic designer that works remotely, that would be ideal. Otherwise, please consider contributing a dollar a month through Patreon and just keep watching my channel. Keep commenting. I love reading some of these comments and I just, I feel, I feel, I don't know, I feel humbled that you guys seem to be enjoying my videos and take the time to comment. I, I really appreciate it. So yeah, just spread the word about this channel. Like, help me keep growing and hopefully I'll be able to keep doing these videos.